Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor and in today's video I'm going to be kayaking up this little creek behind me here and I think today's going to be a fun video because if you've been following the channel for pretty much any time at all you probably know that I love this Nico Helgramite. It's a fantastic lure for catching bass in both creeks and rivers but it's not the only Helgramite lure on the market. I want to try out some other ones and I've got a couple here with me today. The first one I'm trying out is this Yum Helgramite. This one's very similar to the Nico. It's a three inch it's a little bit different plastic, not quite as durable, but it is a lot cheaper. So I've got this tied on on a jig head. And then I've also got a couple other Helgramites with me here from Tackle HD. I've got their three and a half inch Ned Mite and then this five and a half inch Helgramite. And I actually tied this on a couple days ago, creek fishing. I was trying to start out this video and I only fished for a little bit, lost one fish on it. So this one's a little bit more like a worm. So I'm probably going to fish this thing on a Texas rig. And then this three and a half inch size is a little more similar to the Nico Helgramite that I'm used to fishing, so I'll probably just fish this one on jig head. But yeah, the plan for today is basically to just try out some of those Helgramites when I'm going up this creek and see if we can catch some fish. Um, a follower actually DM'd me, his name is Austin, about this spot last summer, and I'm just now getting around to trying it. He said there are some stud largemouth in this creek, so we'll see if we can try to find one of those today. All right, and I've got the Yum Helgramite on this 1 16th ounce jig head, which is the same size jig head John uses. I actually have the same jig heads he uses, but I feel like I like this jig head better just because it's got a little smaller hook on it. Got one. There we go, a little bass. Wow. There we go. My first bass on the Yum Helgramite. Alright, he's no giant, but not a bad little creek bass just was hiding under that bush over there. And this is one of those creeks that kind of gets really shallow and then just has some deeper holes. I just passed a real deep hole. I had a little bite in it on my first cast. Um, there had to have been some bass in there. I just didn't get any, I might've spooked them. Well, that is exciting catching the first fish of the day. You know, it's always fun to me to catch fish at new places. It's always just an adventure. There's so much unknown. You, you, know, you never know what you're gonna catch. I mean, that's true of anywhere you fish, but especially a new place. Um, and, you know, I'm excited to explore this creek some more today, but I'm glad to have gotten a fish pretty fast there. And I'll let him go here. There he goes. Oh, got a fish. I actually got one. Oh my gosh. There's no way I just had a fish on right there. I actually had one over that log. I didn't want a hook set because I there's so many logs I didn't know that was a bite. Oh, got one. You are kidding me. Oh gosh. No. Where'd he go? Dang it. Didn't land him. Ah, oh, well. I cannot believe there's a bass right there. I don't know if there's going to be any above this waterfall right here, but I left my kayak back there. It's kind of hit and I don't think anyone will bother it, but oh, I should have landed that fish, dude. Got one out of this hole. Oh, come on. oh my gosh, that's a trout. That is a rainbow trout. <laughs> I mean, the place I'm fishing looks a lot more like a trout stream than a bass stream. Well, I don't even know why I act surprised when I caught this trout because I'm basically bass fishing in a trout stream today. This guy's probably like 14 incher. Pretty little guy right there. I have the uh, camera on super view right now, so I don't know if he's gonna look like super tiny or what, but let me go ahead and release him. Well, there you go. There's the release, he should be fine. I had him just like in my net right here. Got one under that same tree as earlier. Man, I, I totally knew I was gonna spook the bass. I mean, now that I've caught this one, I'm probably not catching another one out of this hole. Um, I just think I spook them too easily. But there we go, another, another little bass. Oh, again, I'm frustrated that I didn't have my chest mount on for that last catch, because I know the audio isn't as good, but there's another little bass, maybe like a 10 inch or pretty small one there. Anyway, I'll let this one go. Probably scared all the fish out of this hole. 
All right, y'all, it's another day, and I'm actually trying out a different Helgramite that was, I didn't show at the beginning of this video. It was still in the mail uh, when I started filming this video, and it arrived later. But this is the Tackle Max Helgramite. It's a 3.7 inch Helgramite. It's super thin, but it's really realistic looking. Um, it definitely seems like it has a lot of action, so I don't know. Let's see if we can catch something out of this river with it today. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Did my line break? Oh. Dude, I didn't realize I had that fish on. That was on that Tackle Max Helgramite. I don't know if my line broke or my knot was just bad. I think it might have been my knot. I just kind of barely leaned into the hook set, didn't really realize I had the fish. I've only ever caught one fish right here before. It looked decent, I mean, over a pound. Oh, that's a fish. Didn't realize that a fish. That is a fish, two fish today that I didn't know I had on. That was my first cast down here. It's a good one. Not crazy big, but definitely a good one. Dude. Oh man. Dude. That is a solid shoal bass. Probably at least a pound and a half. Yeah, solid fish. His tail's bloody. I don't know if that's just from him flopping right there or what, but. Yeah, probably like a 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half inch shoal bass. Not a bad fish at all. Oh yeah, two pounds. It said two pounds that time. All right, well my first fish on that Tackle Max Helgramite is a solid one. The one I lost up there, I think was probably similar to this size. So that's a nice, nice fish to get right there. He's probably more like 16 inches if he's two pounds. Oh, there he goes. There's a fish. Man, I barely felt that bite again. Oh, don't come off fish. I feel like I've gotten terrible hook sets on these fish. So they might come off. It's a smaller one though. Oh wow, he is smaller, but he's still good. So decent. It's kind of hooked funny. Well, yeah, he's smaller, but still a solid shoal bass over a pound. Maybe about 14 inches on this Tackle Max Helgramite. This one's super thin, but I think it's got really good action because it's so thin. I just don't think it's going to last as long because um, it'll tear up a little easier, but it's got me a couple good ones. I lost one that was pretty nice too, so I'm definitely impressed with it, and today the river's definitely a bit muddy, so really throwing a Helgramite's not the most ideal thing to do today, but it is still catching me some fish. All right, beautiful little shoal bass. There he goes. Ooh, tiny one, tiny little bass up under that tree. Well, hey, it's the first fish I've landed on this Helgramite. I actually fished yesterday and had a largemouth come off. Like I was sight fishing him and he bit it and I just, he just didn't have the lure all the way. So I didn't get him, but tiny little spot of bass there. This Helgramite's definitely different than the Nico and the uh, Yum because it's got a really flappy tail, kind of similar to the Tackle Max one I was just using. Well, that bass is maybe nine inches long. Really small one, but I'll still take it. Oh, there's a fish. Didn't know I had him on. That's a trout. Are you kidding me? A trout on this bigger Helgramite. You've got to be kidding. He may come off because these trout can come off a lot easier than like a bass. Are you kidding me? Get my net out. Maybe I'll get him in. Uh oh. And that was stuck for a sec. Ah. No. There we go. Got him. It's a pretty good rainbow trout. I cannot believe they're still here this time of the year. Everybody always says this river gets too hot for them in the summer, but 
I don't know if they're right or not. I mean, I guess it'll probably get hotter in, uh, you know, the next month or so. That's the second trout we've caught in this video. I mean, you know, up in these North Georgia mountains, there's trout in a lot of these streams that catch bass in. All right, about a 15 or so inch trout. All right, well, there's one look at that trout. I need to let them go because these trout are like super fragile, way more fragile than a bass. Okay. He's swimming. I don't see any floating. You know, they're super fragile, but I think that one was actually okay. All right, and that fish was on this five inch. I can't remember if it's five or five and a half inch, but it's this uh, bigger tackle HD hugger mite. And I'm just fishing it on a Texas rig, kind of like I would a trick worm. It's crazy. Like, there's just so many people kayaking here, but I know there's a, still a lot of fish under here. Oh, there's fish on the chopo. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Don't get on my leg. Don't come my leg. Oh man. I had no balance right here, dude. I know this video is on the Helger mite, but I threw the Helger mite in there so many times and I thought they might react to a top water. So I had to use it. That was a little shoal bass, which is what I'm going after today. I just, I was slipping like crazy. I don't think I would have lost it if I had a little more of a firm grip. Oh, a little hit. Oh, there's one on the chopo. So much for the Helgen bite. Hope this one doesn't come off. It's tiny, but hey, it is a shoal bass. The other shoal bass we had on the chopo uh, wasn't very big, but he was definitely bigger than this one. This one's really small. And no, it's not on the Helgen bite, but the chopo is just a totally different lure. Sometimes if they won't hit the Helgen bite, they'll probably hit the chopo. And there's some places like right here that the chopper is just better for so I had to make a few casts with it anyway I'll let this guy go you hit it a couple times oh there he goes oh man right there on the chopper oh so much for using the uh hugging my right again oh there we go a little spot of that well I wasn't even recording with my chest mount um I was about to help this guy who had like lost his kayak, but some other people came to help him. But a uh, little fish on the chopo, maybe like a 13 and a half incher. Good thing that other camera was going. It saves me a lot. I am forgetting to turn this chest mount on too often, but anyway, let that guy go. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the fishing in this video. Now, at the end of the video, I'm just gonna talk about some of the Helger mites I used and how I was fishing them. So whenever I'm fishing these Helger mite lures, obviously you've mainly seen me fish the Nico Hugger Mite on this channel, it's a great lure. I've caught a ton of fish on it. I'll definitely be using it in the future, but I just wanted to try out some other Hugger Mites in this video. And I started off with the Yum Hugger Mite, which is very similar. I was fishing this in a smaller, shallow creek, um, and I was using a 1 16th ounce size. That worked really well, a 1 16th ounce jig head with this Hugger Mite. If I was fishing this in a river, I would definitely want a heavier one uh, because I did end up using a 1 16th ounce size with this Tackle Max Helger mine in the river. And that seemed too light for me. Like I hardly even felt those bites as y'all probably saw. And I didn't really get a hook set on the fish because I didn't realize I had a fish on. So I'm definitely gonna wanna use a jig head heavier than 1 16th in the river for these Helger mites. But when I was using 1 8th ounce size with this uh, Tackle HD Med Mite later in the video, the 1 8th ounce seemed a little bit heavier than I would like it was a little bit harder to drift the Helger mite so I was thinking I probably wanted an in-between size and actually since I filmed the fishing of this video I did buy some three 32nd ounce jig heads these are like some JDM ones from like a special website so, so I'm hoping this will be a nice in-between size where I can feel the bites a little bit easier but I can also drift the Helger mite fairly well so you might see me use these jig heads in the future videos and then the last Helger mite I used was this Tackle HD five inch hugger mite, I think it's five inch, not five and a half inch. I caught the trout on this lure um, and I was just fishing that on a Texas rig with a little one-aught round bin worm hook and some one eighth ounce tungsten worm weights. So that's how I was fishing these lures. You'll probably see these lures in future videos. I mean, obviously, like I said, I'm definitely using the Nico ones because I've used them a ton. They've worked really well. Um, I just wanted to try some other ones in the market, see what was out there, see if they worked. Obviously they work, I caught at least one fish on all these in this video. Um, so you'll probably see 
all five of these Helga mites in future videos. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.